Hey guys, Tim Martini with Exploring the Obscure. Today, we are in Colettesville, North Carolina at the House of Mugs. A retirement project for a young man turns 30,000 coffee mugs on his house and fence. We're gonna meet up with Mr. Sisk himself, probably have a cup of coffee if we can find a mug somewhere around here. And uh, apparently he has some moonshine. So let's go check it out. We go deep in the foothills of North Carolina to a house with no address, but plenty of questions. What would you do with thousands upon thousands upon thousands of coffee mugs? Well, once you're done filling up your cupboards, you put them on your house and your fence, of course. And when that's filled up, then you get another house and do the same thing. That's what this one man did in Colettesville, North Carolina. Meet Avery Sisk. So I'm here with Avery Sisk. Yeah. Thank you for coming out to meet us today. I know this is usually your summer home and it's February, but uh, so you have what, about 30,000 now? Yeah, 30,000. What, like, how long is this taking you to do? Going on 17 years. Do you even drink coffee? Very little. My <laughs> wife drinks coffee. And where do you where do you get most of these? Thrift stores. Thrift stores. Do you just yeah. I mean, but you have a lot of visitors at this point yeah, now, we're right? Yeah, five, 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 five hundred to a thousand a year. Now, does anybody bring you coffee mugs at all ever? Yeah. We we happen to bring you one, all the way from Canada. That's where I made my drive from. And we we have some Colombian coffee uh, that we can. We can make some coffee with if you'd like. Uh, it, it came from Walmart though. It didn't actually come from Colombia. They didn't let me bring that back across the border. So if you don't mind, we'll go take a look around the house. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no, you go first. You go. Oops. Age before beauty. Age before beauty. Well, me. So which one in here is your favorite? You said Ronald Reagan, right? Mr. Ronald Reagan, right here. And that, is that an Air Force One? That's Air Force One. He could have drunk coffee out of it. Wow. That's pretty cool. Now, you also have a bunch of police memorabilia too, right? Yeah, sure do. In the, in the, obviously, it's in here. I got badges and... Badges, patches. With thousands of coffee mugs still waiting to be displayed, Avery's moved on to his next location the trailer next door. So we're now at a trailer that's adjacent to the house and there's many crates of a lot more coffee mugs here. What are you gonna do with all of these now that the house is pretty much filled up? Well, I got a storage building right there to cover, overhead right in here. So you're gonna be hanging them all up in here too? Yeah. So you have your pots and pans yeah. and, your, <laughs> and your coffee mugs in here. Whether it's a mug with hearts on it, year-round Christmas mugs, or really, just any random mug, you're sure to find it here, amongst thousands of others, and nowhere else but the House of Mugs. From the House of Mugs in Colesville, North Carolina. My arms are too tired. Your arms are getting tired. <laughs> yeah. We can't find any good help nowadays. Three days, three sound people. I quit. You... <laughs> I get it for you. From Colettesville, North Carolina, I'm Tim Martini with Exploring the Obscure. Follow all of my adventures on Facebook and YouTube under Exploring the Obscure, or follow me directly on Instagram and Twitter at Timmy Martini. So until next time, keep your bags packed. When you can't find good help, do it yourself. Let's go explore.